Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program is accept the integer n which represents the number of boxes as the input then also accept the 2 star n integers representing the number of papers in each row in each box so in row 1 we have n integers and in row 2 we have another set of n integers then the boy takes the paper from row 1 box first box that is initially then if the number of papers in both the boxes at same index is even or or he must take or he comes down or up and take the paper from the box then after that the index is in incremented respectively so first we are accepting the integer n which represents the number of boxes after that we have to accept the two star n integers representing the number of papers in each box then in row 1 we have n integers in row 2 we have n integers the boy takes the paper from row 1 that is the first box initially then if the number of papers in both the box at the same index is even or odd then he comes down or up so it is either even or odd then he comes down or up and take the paper from the another row then the index is incremented so respectively and it moves to the next box now let us understand with our test case so here here we have five boxes in each row the first index we have 40 so now we have to check whether the papers in both the boxes at same index that is 40 and 30 is either even or odd so now you can see 40 and 30 both are even so after getting 40 you have to move to 30 then after 30 papers then he goes to 93 papers so now you have to check whether 93 and 32 are odd or even so 93 is odd 32 is even so since they are not same we have to move to the right side so we'll go to 51 papers then 51 is odd, 61 is also odd, so we'll go to 61, then after 61 papers, we'll go to 87, then after getting 87, we can see 87 is odd, but 74 is even, so we'll move to the right side, then here we have 44 papers, and 44 is even, then 28 is also even, so 
will have 28 by moving downwards. Now this will be our final output. Now we'll take our second test case. So here we have seven integers in each row. So in the first index we have six and three. So six is an even then three is odd. So we'll move to the right side. Here we have seven. Seven is odd, four is even. So we'll move to eight papers. Then eight is even, five is odd. So this also are not same. So nine is odd, six is even. So we'll move to the right side. So here one is odd, then seven is also odd. So we'll move to downwards and print seven. Now after printing seven, we'll go to the eight papers by moving right. So we have eight. So eight is even, two is also even. Then we'll go to two moving upwards. Then after two, we have to go to right. So eight is even, nine is odd. So we'll get only eight. So this will be our output. Let us implement our program. First we'll get the integer n as the input, that is the number of boxes. Then we'll get the row one, where we'll have the number of papers in each box. So here we have n integers. Then similarly, we'll have to get for row two. Then now we'll have the variable called take box equal to row one. So initially we are starting from the first index of row one, right? So we'll now iterate over the boxes. So zero to n. And now we have to print the take box of index and use the end argument. The boy takes the first box in row one. So now we will check whether the number of papers in the box in the same index is either odd or even. So if row of index is modulo two is equal to equal to row two of index. So if this condition is going to be satisfied, then we have to move up or right, right? So for that, if the take box is equal to equal to row one, the text box should be moved to row two. Else, the take box is equal to row one. Then after that, we'll again print the same take box of index comma end argument. Now we'll have a quick recap. So first we are getting our inputs, then assigning take box equal to row one as we are starting from the first index of row one initially. Then we are iterating over the boxes, then print the take box of index and use the end argument. So after that we are checking whether the numbers of same index in both the rows are even or odd. So if their papers are both even or odd, we are going to apply our condition that is to move towards either up or down. So first we take box is equal to equal to row one, then take box will be equal to row two. Then at last we'll print the take box of index. Now let us execute our program. We'll pass our first test case. So we have got the correct output. We'll pass our second test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. <laughs> Hope you
Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.